This is question number six on the November 2013 Hire Calculator paper. And this question is a very wordy question. So when you come to it, look at the question, read it. It's worth four marks. So it's one that's not, not particularly taxing. Shouldn't we have loads and loads to do? But it gives you an idea of what you need to work through. So reading this question, it says there are 130 adults at a language school. The adults study one of French, Spanish or German. 96 of the adults are women. 12 of the women study French. 73 of the adults study Spanish. 55 study Spanish. Women study Spanish. And 9 men study German. How many of the adults study French? As I'm reading this question, I'm starting to figure out what it's wanting me to do. In fact, this question is a two-way table question. It wants me to organize this information. And the most efficient and effective way of doing this is to draw a table. One of the ways I recognize that it was a two-way table is that it's talking about two different aspects of the people that it's dealing with here. The fact that they study French, Spanish, or German, the languages that they study, and the fact that we're dealing with either men or women. So I'm going to set up a series of rows and columns where I have men, women, as my sort of headings at the front of each of these columns. And then the columns going across are going to be the languages, French, Spanish, and German. And at the ends of each, I'll have a total. Okay, so let's just set this up. It doesn't need to be a work of art. So a lot of people spend ages sort of creating boxes and trying to get them all equally spaced. That's not important. It's the numbers in there that you need to make sure are accurate. So those are the languages. And then there are two genders that we're dealing with, men, women, Okay, so as we proceed through this, the what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tick off any boxes or numbers that I actually have as I go through. So start from the very beginning. There are 130 adults at a language school. So 130 is going to go here because that's the total number altogether. I'm just going to tick that off. Each of the adults study French, Spanish, or German. French, Spanish, or German. I've got that. 96 of the adults are women. So 96 of them are women, which is here, 96. 12 of the women study French. So 12 of the women study French. And of the women, 12 of them study French. 73 of the adults study Spanish. So this is all together. 73 of them study Spanish. 55 of the women study Spanish. So the women, 55 of them study Spanish. Nine of the men study German. So of the men, nine of them study German. And the question says, how many adults study French? So how many adults study French is going to be this call, this cell here. That's what I want to find. So at this stage, I can actually get my calculator and start trying to do some calculations to work out the different values. I'm first of all going to work out this here, the total number of men there are. And that's actually going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to do 130 take away 96 equals 34. So there are 34 men altogether. Um, what can I work out next? I can work out the number of men who studied Spanish. So the number of men who studied Spanish is going to be 73 take away 55. And that's 18. 18 men studied Spanish. What can I work out next? I could work out the number of men who studied French. 
because if I do 34, take away 18, take away 9, I can work out what this value is over here. So let's do that. 34, take away 18, take away, that's a 9 there, equals, and that gives me 7. So this value here is 7. And then I get to the cell that I want. 7 plus 12 is 19. And that is my answer. I don't need to proceed to the others, and I'm intentionally not going to do that, just to show you that you need to save time, right? Leave those empty. The question said, how many adults study French? So we've just worked out that it's 19, and that's what I'm going to write in my answer space over here. 19, that's the number of adults who study French. And I'll give you the question again. Have a look at it. Make sure you could do this. Make sure you could understand exactly what is needed and you can get full marks in it.